G'day adventure lover. I'm down in the Riverland, camped out on the shores of Lake Bonny. My plan today is to go out sailing all day. I'm going to go across Lake Bonny and then head down into an area called Loch Luna. I don't know if I can get in there. It's on the far side of Lake Bonny across a bridge it looks like on the satellite map. So I'll see if I can get under that bridge, get into the Loch Luna area and explore there. Let's see how we go. Nice little bit of breeze, boat sailing really nicely across the lake. I've got a uh, experimental traveller hooked up to my main sheet, which I'm using to try and point closer to the wind. That seems to be working well. I'm nicely stocked up on food and water, ready for a long day out on the water. So approaching the bridge here, uh, looking down towards it, I can see the bridge, but there just seems to be a big bank of reeds in front of it. I can't see a way through. Ah, nice. Now I can see a way through. Looks like there's enough of a gap there I'll be able to slip through. We're just slowly cruising through the back channels uh, behind Lake Bonnie, trying to find my way through. It's kind of like doing an orienteering class. Luckily we got these uh, green markers showing where to go, which makes life a bit easier. This is a place that's really going to test out the flexibility of the Hobie. It's going to have places where I can sail and a lot of places that are full of obstacles where I can't. All kinds of different conditions I'm going to encounter here. Shallow water, logs under the water, uh, strong wind, strong headwinds, no wind, all sorts of different things. And it's a very long distance as well. Plus, it's a maze. Like a bloody maze through all these channels and canals and uh, lots of little channels going off in all directions. So the old markers are showing me where to go. Got green and red markers. Here they were kind enough even to put an arrow to make sure no one got confused and didn't end up going down that way. Very nice of them. This place is a maze. So it's too shallow to uh, be using the sail. It's too risky to get it out, propel me along too quickly. There's objects all around the bottom, which are easy to strike, damage the uh, mirage drive, damage the rudder. So sail away, just pedaling around through here until I reach more open water. bunch of black swans swimming around in front of me here. This place is gorgeous. I don't think many people come through here. There's a lot of life around the place. It's very shallow through here. Slow going, real slow going. Keep catching the keel on the bottom. It's shallow. There's a trick you can do with the Mirage Drive. It's just little slow pulses like this. It'll give you forward motion, but the fins won't elevate too far down and hit the bottom. I'm going to turn around here because it's really nice here, but it's so shallow it's really hard to move. And I'm too lazy to paddle through today. I made it a fair way into the lock before I decided to turn around. The crossing of Lake Bonnie was really fast. Down the initial canal system was pretty quick, but once I got into the actual lock itself, it was extremely slow going. Virtually a swamp. There's no way you can get any speed up. Check this out. Spectacular. Bush growing out of a dead log. Oh, I love 
this boat. <laughs> What a fantastic day. So on the water all day, I did uh, about 35 kilometres all up. Uh, got back at sunset and uh, was rewarded with this gorgeous sight. Uh, what an amazing way to spend a day. Please like and subscribe.